Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I am going to build a simple application that is basically to create the EC2 instance in AWS by using a Go programming language. Alright, so I will show you the step by step process that how you can create an EC2 instance in Go programming language. So as you can see here that this is the directory that is basically by the name of AWS and I cloned this directory from the repository as you can see here that this is the AWS directory uh, or the repository that I already created in my GitHub account so all the code will be uploaded here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to go to the AWS management console. All right. Yeah, the, as you can see here that this is the services menu. So if I click on this and these are the recently visited uh, resources like EC2, a, a, IEM, Lambda, etc. But if this is your first time, you can go to the compute. And after that, as you can see here that inside this compute, this is the EC2 instance that you click on this. All right. So it will take me some time. So basically what do I mean by uh, clicking on this uh, EC2 instance and the reason for this is uh, that you need to create the EC2 instance first in order to uh, create other EC2 instances also by using the Go programming language. And the reason for that is you need to uh, create the image from that EC2 instance once it is created. Basically the uh, EC2 instance contains some kind of resources that will be helpful in that uh, I uh, sorry AMI image or the Amazon uh, machine image uh, in that image the these resources are required uh, and for this reason I'm going to create the EC2 instance and after that I will be creating other uh, EC2 instances in Go programming language so as you can see here that uh, currently there are zero instances running so if I scroll down you will see that this is the button that is showing that you can launch an instance all right so let's click on this launch an instance and from there you will see that this is the instance name that I can give like testing and after that let's uh, scroll down and I will select the uh, Amazon Linux by default and let's scroll down and this will be the instance type will be the uh, t2.micro this is the free type so I will select this one and let's click on this testing and after that uh, if this is your first time then you can clear, uh, clear, uh, click on the create new key appear and if you click on this it will uh, basically download a simple text file in which the uh, key pair will be present and you can choose it all right and after that let's allow the traffic from anywhere because this uh, this is just for the testing purpose and the number of instances will be one and after that these are all the things that I have that I'm not going to modify so I will leave as it is advanced details I'm not going to modify them as you can see here so now let's click on the launch instance so it will take me some time so let's wait for it and after that as you can see that successfully initiated initiated the launch of instance if you scroll down view all instances all right so now you can see that this is the instance ID that is currently pending and uh, this and the name of the instance is uh, testing. So after that, uh, after this uh, instance is running and uh, I will create an image that is basically this one, all right, AMI image, Amazon machine image. So based on this image, I will create other instances also. So although I could create, uh, although I could stop this uh, instance, but I need uh, these resources in order to create an image and from that image I will be able to create multiple EC2 instances in the uh, Go programming language. Alright, so if I cl click on this EMI, so let's click on this. As you can see here that currently no image is present. So if I click on the action or uh, what you can see, uh, sorry, go to the EC2 instance above again and uh, let's click on this let's uh, uh, select it and go to the action and after that let's click on the image and templates now you can see that it is giving me an option that you need to create an image so from that instance i'm going to create an image all right so let's click on this and now the image name would be testing again all right testing so i'm not going to enable this reboot option so i will leave the detail as it is so let's click on this create option all right create image now you can see that if I scroll uh, open this AMI, you will see that this is the image that is created. So from that uh, instance, I created this image. All right. So this is the name. If I want to, I can change it like uh, testing this. 
all right so now you will need uh, you will see that how this uh, image will be created and after that i will use this ami id and uh, uh, use it to create an image in this uh, uh, project so let's click on this uh, uh, ec2 and make a file here main.go and after that let's write go mode in it because i need to create the mode file that will contain the libraries uh, that i will import so let's first of all write package main and after that let's create a function by the name of main and once it is done what i will do i will write session and error and once it is done i will write session new session and after that let's write the m percent aws config uh, let's write the region and based on uh, based on which re which region i will uh, choose the region and will show you what is the process of it so let's write a string aws string and let's write ap south one like this so basically what this session is used for the session will basically take this region all right so based on this region or from this region the resources will be fetched all right so if i show you let's go to the uh, region as you can see that currently the mumbai region is present so if i scroll uh, click on this so it is loading currently so it will take me some time so the mumbai region is basically ap uh, south uh, slash one this is the uh, region of the mumbai so as you can see here ap uh, south one so this is the mumbai region asia pacific so if if the if you are selecting any of the region you need to uh, write this ap now northeast or ap northeast 2 etc so it is depending on your location after that let's write error message if error is not equal to nil then log fatal what you can say fail to uh, fail to create a session like this and then the uh, what you can see the error message that will be printed here and once it is done i will write the os exit and this os exit will show you the one that is basically showing you that uh, the process was unsuccessful so this is the reason that i have put it here but if the process is successful then it will uh, fetch the resources from this region all right so let's write down now what you can say mm, uh, service client and then from that service client i will write uh, what you can say ec2 ec2 uh, new and then the uh, session like this. so now uh, what is the purpose of this service client so the service client will make you able to interact with the ec2 instance so that you can create an is instance or modify an instance or delete an instance if you want to so this is the purpose of the service client that, I, that i'm using it here and i will uh, import these libraries and the first thing that i'm going to show you is that this is the library that you need to install in your uh, mode a uh, code or mode file in order to make this process work so this is the uh, more important library for the aws uh, in order to make this functionality work this will basically help you to manage the resources in the ac2 instance like aws sdk go all right so i will import these libraries once i write these functions so let's write the next thing that i'm going to write is to you know what you can say uh, uh, uh parameters all right parameters let's write this parameter and after that let's write ec2 and then uh, run instances run instances input and then i will give the image id like this first of all image And once this image ID is given, I will write AWS string. And this instances instance type. Yeah, sorry, instance type. I need to delete this because it is giving me error here. So instance uh, type. like this but uh, maybe there is a problem i need to write the error message also or leave it as it is or instance type let's write aws and then string 
and once it is done what i will do i will uh, leave the empty string currently and i will show you uh, the, uh, after that let's write min count min count and that is aws uh, integer and that is going to be 64 one and after that max count that is aws integer now they are done and uh, basically what uh, what do i mean by this uh, uh, parameters so these parameters will help you to create the ec2 instances all right like the image id so the image id is going to be the uh, this ami id so i'm going to copy this ami id so let's copy this and paste it here so based on this image the instances will be created and after that this is the instance type so the instance type was uh, t2.micro so if i show you maybe it will be present here or not so it is not present here but uh, i have shown you uh, previously that the instance type is going to be t2micro if i scroll down maybe i will find it here So yeah, it is not giving me here, so no problem. All right. So the instance type is going to be t2micro when I was creating it. So let's write t2.micro. All right. So now the next thing is going to be the min count and the max count. What is this? So the min count will basically set the limit. Uh, uh, set or what you can say uh, create the minimum amount of instances all right so the minimum uh, instances that will be created will be one and the maximum instances will be one so it will it will only create one instance it will not create multiple instances if you run this code all right so that's the limit so let's say if you give this limitation to 10 so it will create the minimum instances one or it will create the maximum in instances for uh, to 10 all right so this is the limitation that i have put it here so currently i'm just going to put the limitation one so after that the next thing that i'm going to do is to write create uh, instance so after that let's write error message also so if the instance was not created then it will give me an error so now the next uh, the first thing that i'm going to write is to like write service in client and after that uh, instance or what you can say run instances like this all right and the next thing uh, is to write the parameters like this if the error is given then uh, what i will write log fatal failed to create an instance like that failed to create an instance and now let's write uh, the error message here now uh, once the instance is created uh, uh, it will what i will do i will fetch the instance id also in order to show you so if the instance is not created then it will give me this error but if it is created then i will print the instance id also so let's write what you can say instance id and uh, let's write instance id and then write uh, create or create instance once it is done, uh, create instance is written what i will do i will write instance id instances instances like this and then uh, instances let's write it like this one and then uh, or instance id instance id all right so let's uh, print the statement like uh, created and uh, created an instance ec2 instance ec2 instance and here is its id mm. all right let's check the id instance id like this all right so i hope you understood basically first of all it will take the resources from this region and after that it will create a, a service client through which it will interact with the uh, service uh, whether you want to create modify or delete the instance 
and after that it will uh, take the parameters like the image id instance uh, or what you can say instance type instance type or um, main account that uh, what are the limitations of the instance that you want to create and after that create instance uh, that would be service client a or run instances parameters so based on this parameter the instances will be created and if they are not created it will give me an error so i need to write the exit sign also so in order to make this work and after that let's write, uh, give the instance id so if the instance is created then it will give me the instance id so let's uh, clear this sorry and once it is clear so let's import these libraries so scroll up and as you can see here that these are the libraries that i'm going to import and save it so let's take the second one and from this option you can take say take this one or this one so i'm going to take this uh, second one all right so let's say uh, go get and uh, press enter on this as you can see that this library is added after that let's uh, take this one also go get and then save this press enter on this now this is also going to be uh, saved so let's press uh, enter on this and now you can see that the red sign is gone from here so let's remove this one and now as you can see that three uh, three libraries are imported here but this is giving me an error and the error is this i need to write the instance id properly so let's write instance id all right so log fatal f like this or log print line like this and log fatal f all right so these are the minor errors that it is giving me so i hope you understood basically i have imported three libraries there and that were given so these are all the files that are stored here and they uh, are imported successfully so let's clear this and once it is done i will write go run main dot go so uh, no such file or directory because they are present in the ec2 directory so let's write uh, what you can say ec2 slash this so it will take me some time so let's wait for this now you can see that the uh, create an instance and here it is its id all right so so if i show you as you can see here and refresh this uh, what you can say go to the instance sorry and uh, from here i will refresh as you can see that this is the new instance that is uh, initially created all right uh, the, uh, now created 88a so if i take a look at this this is the 88a so this is how it is working fine but i can give it any name if i want to let's write testing one this is how it will and the name will be given but uh, the instance is created based on this id all right so this was a previous one and uh, this is a new one all right so i hope you understood and now the next thing that i'm going to do is to what you can say is to make some more modifications and write the what you, uh, new line here i forgot to write the new lines and uh, let's write like this all right so let's write uh, what you can say um, give it any image id so the image id like this and the instance type or the t2 micro I, I don't need to write it but i have removed this because i'm going to delete these uh, instances so you don't need to copy it so yeah so let's write go uh, what you can say get status as you can see that these are the files that are created so i will write go git add and git commit made a uh, maiden maiden application maiden ec2 application or ec2 application like this git uh, push or git uh, what you can say git branch what is the branch main branch so git push origin main so now it is gone so let's go to the here now you can see that these are the files that are created and this is the ec2 directory that i recently created like this one. all right and this is the code of it all right so i hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye